Welcome to my Photoshop tutorial. I'll be taking you through many steps to help you understand how the program works. If at any time you have any troubles, let me know and I'll help you out. There are also numerous tutorials on the internet. You can find many tutorials about Photoshop on web pages and on YouTube. I think it's time to begin. The first thing that we need to do is open up a new image. Click on File button. Click on Open. Go and find the file location of the picture that you want to work with. Click on and open the picture that you want to work with. So here we go, picture one. Now that the picture is open, you have many options available to you. The first part of this tutorial will be taking your picture and superimposing it onto something else. At this point, you need to understand how the toolbar works. The floating toolbar, which is over here, which I'll move around, has many options available for you to use. As part of your handout, you will have a list of what each tool does and how they apply changes to pictures. As this is only a basic Photoshop tutorial, I will not be getting into some of the more advanced tool functions. My hope is that you can take what you've learned today and immediately start using it with your students. The next thing you need to do is find another picture that you'll be superimposing your face onto. Using the same method described before, you'll need to open another picture that you'll be superimposing onto. Try to place both pictures on the workspace. You can do this by ensuring that you maximize the screen to be able to see both pictures. So I'm going to go up here, File, Open, I'm going to find the other picture which is two guys holding a massive sturgeon. And I'm going to move this picture off to the side so that I now have both pictures with my toolbar on the screen. Now you want to cut a selection of the original picture that you want to be able to superimpose. There are a few different ways of doing this. The easiest way that I have found is by using something called the lasso tool. But before we do this, why don't we crop a selection to make the work area smaller. Click on the crop selection tool, which is right here. Click and drag the crop selection tool to the area that you want. So I'm going to go over to my picture here and I'm going to crop my face. This is the area that you'll be working with. Now you can either click the checkbox in Adobe Photoshop Elements or you can click the move tool and click the button that says crop. Now you have a much smaller space to work with. Now I just have my face. Click on the lasso tool. That's the one that actually looks like a lasso. You can either use the magnetic lasso tool, the polygonal lasso tool, or simply the lasso tool. The magnetic lasso tool will stick to the outside of surfaces as you select pictures. The polygonal lasso tool can be used to connect straight lines with your selection. The lasso tool by itself works by making a simple drawing around an image. Watch as I use the lasso tool to select my face. Lasso tool, click over here, and now I just do a simple drawing around the outside of my face. Keep drawing all the way around. When you see a little circle by the lasso itself, that's when you know that you've created your selection. Now my face is selected and can be used for editing. Now all I need to do is simply click and hold and drag my face onto the other picture. So I'm going to go to the move tool here, click on that, click my face, and I'm going to drag my face over to the new picture. As you can see, my face is absolutely massive and I'm going to need to resize it. Now that I'm done with this layer though, I can get rid of it. So I click the X button and 
I do not want to save changes, so I hit no. I'm going to bring the new canvas out in front of me, and the next thing I need to do is resize my face. Click on the Edit drop down button and go to Free Transform. So I go up here to Edit and I go down to a button called Free Transform. Click on that. Now what you'll notice is little boxes all the way around the outside with a rectangle.